YouTube. How we doing today? What's going on, everybody? Happy Monday, and welcome in to my first Dragon's Dogma 2 Let's Play, episode 01. Man, I, I really, I can't even tell you how excited I am for this game. I have, I played the first one, uh, and really, really enjoyed it, and um, played it several times, actually, and have been waiting, I've been hoping for a sequel for years and years, and then recently heard this one coming out, had heard a lot of good things about it, and really just got more and more excited as we went along, and now here we are, finally, I played it over the weekend. Uh, I did a first impression video. Um, you guys should take a look at that. Um, it's uh, had a good time making that one. Uh, some good footage in there. And uh, Claire did a fantastic job with the editing. But now I'm ready to actually start showing you guys some of the gameplay here. I'm, I'm going to stay where I'm at. I'm not starting a new character. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and keep the progress I've made because I feel like I've actually done pretty good so far. Uh, and we have made it a little ways into town. Uh, we'll talk about where we're at in the story and everything here in a minute. Let's say hello to the chat. Check it out. My brother, Jeremy McGee. What's up, Jer Bear? How you doing, bud? Uh, good to see you there. Uh, thanks for being here, man. Uh, an ob obscured by ink what's up obi how you doing man I'm, I'm guessing you're a little bit excited for this one too nylon girl 92 has made it in and stickman 4131 what's going on y'all welcome welcome happy monday everybody uh shit i've had a great fucking day i mean honestly this has been a really good day i uh, had a good day at work nice easy day at work uh and i i knew all day long i've been looking forward to, to coming home and playing some of this uh, so yeah, let's rock and roll, man. I'm going to go ahead and take off from the last save here. Uh, and our current mission is to speak with Captain Brandt in the tavern a night. <laughs> so I, all right. I don't want to start with a criticism because really it's not a criticism. I think it's kind of adorable. Uh, w the only problem I'm having with this game so far, the only thing that I'm like kind of struggling, it, the, uh, the really, really, uh, the LARPing dialogue. It's like, these guys, they, uh, <laughs> the, the dialogue is, it's pretty funny, man. It's like a couple of, a uh, couple of kids in like a Shakespearean actor class or something, just showing off their knowledge of like medieval English or something. I don't know when it, it's, it's like a bunch, it's like listening to a bunch of nerds that are LARPing. Uh, so, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but I, uh, I'm having a hard time taking it seriously with the dialogue. There's a ladder here. Perhaps new discoveries await us. Above. That's cool. Did y'all hear that? There's a ladder here. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. That's one of the things that makes this game really stand apart from other uh, fantasy adventure role-playing type games. The NPCs, the uh, followers, your, your henchmen, helper people in this game are actually pretty fucking good and actually useful. Like, you just heard them, one of them said something about there's a ladder here. Uh... I, I don't know exactly what it is, but if we look around, we'll find a uh, look. There's one right there. That's some. I, I would. You'd almost never notice that yourself. But there is a ladder up there, and now if we can find a way to get to it, there's very likely going to be some loot there. So like that right there, literally within the first five seconds of gameplay, we're already seeing one of the things that makes this game stand out among other games of its type. Well met, the NPCs are actually good in this one, like the, the followers that you get, your pawns as they're called. Now, if I could just jump without fucking it up. There we go. I love that little flip he did. Need anything? Here we go. Oh, look, I've already looted that chest down there. Shit, that's somewhere I've already been. Hmm, that's because they told me about the ladder. <laughs> but yeah, that right there is a perfect example. Uh, that's one of the things that makes this game stand out. And the way it works, like if you're not familiar with this game, the henchmen, what they do, your pawns... You have your main pawn. For me, it's tank because I just I wanted a fucking tank uh, meat shield. Uh, uh, that guy, when you're not playing, 
he will actually be adventuring with other gamers. Other people who are playing this game will have your follower with them or can do, they might do. Uh, and your follower, your follower will pick up knowledge of those quests. He'll learn where hidden chests are. He'll learn where, what the enemies are weak to. He'll learn where the boss is at and how to beat them and stuff. And they will tell you that throughout the game. Same as these other characters that I have with me. I didn't make these. These are some that I just picked up along the way. Joanna here is a, a spellcaster that I have traveling with me. And Gal, uh, they're both uh, like sorceresses. Uh, that cast magic for me, but they were actually created by other players. And generally, those two wizards there are following a different player, learning things about the quest that they are doing, learning where the hidden chests are at, learning what the boss is weak to. That's the kind of shit that really sets this game apart. Oh, hey, check it out. We need to say hello to Gomer, Black Magic, and Melissa S. Hey, how y'all doing? Hello, hello. Uh, Gomer, thanks for sharing that, bud. And thank you for the like, too, folks. Do uh, Please uh, do remember to hit like on the video as you're coming in. So, let's see. Fancy a look at my wares. Yeah, why not? Welcome to Bjorn's Armor. I really need to get some armor. I'm, I'm still wearing basically the same trash that I escaped from a prison with. Um... I've got some better weapons. I got a good bow for myself and a good sword and shield for my fighter. Uh, but I don't have uh, much by way of clothing yet. I have virtually no gold right now. Because, I, like I said, I just bought a bow and sword and shield. Yeah, we'll have to come back later when we have more money. Thanks. I appreciate the business. All right, so what I want to do now, uh, I guess I need to go run some missions. So that we can go get some money. Um, I don't know where to go to rest. Oh, there's got to be an... Oh, I guess it's this maybe this tankard over here. I see. Ah, oh, yeah, I see the sign for it right up there. Oh, yeah. I think I just walked in and broke something. <laughs> I promise I didn't mean to. What in... The, oh, that's one of them cat people. Oh, hi, darling. I hear you like cats. <laughs> I, too, am a cat people. Welcome to the Star Drop-In. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you a cup to... Mm, start no, I'd like to get a room, actually. <laughs> a round of drinks is too... Th thousand gold god damn dude i thought inflation was bad here mother nah uh-uh what the hell kind of drinks you sell around here god damn <laughs> all right so that's the bar i guess where do i go to get a room though uh i want to camp for the night so i can head back out and do a little more adventuring I like the way uh, that climbing and jumping works in this game. It's actually pretty good. I'm a bit clumsy at it still, but it's actually really good. Like, he'll, he'll pop right up over stuff sometimes. Need anything? Let's have a look at the map. The map is really good, too. Really well done. Yeah, there's the smithy, the armorer, and the alchemist. Oh, pawn shop location. This is okay. This will be where we go to rest at. Just right there beside the inn or beside the, uh, the bar. Yeah, here we go. Here's the inn. Outstanding. How expensive is it going to be to get a room for the night, though? 2,000 gold for a bed for the night. Good lord. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, walking in like Link smashing pots. Yeah, right. What in the monkey butt? 
Wow, that's really kind of lame. Uh, all right, is there anything in the storage that I can withdraw to sell for money? Oh, yeah, but we're uh, actually really low on uh, space to carry stuff. Why do I have two of these? Yeah, we need to go sell this stuff. Scott! What's up, Scott? Welcome in, man. Hello and welcome. All of these are probably valuable crafting materials that I'm going to need later, but um, I kind of need the money right now, man. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to go sell some stuff. You know where to find me. You know, honestly, I don't recall the fast travel system in the first one. I don't remember how fast travel worked in part one. Uh, in this one, I honestly don't know how it works in this one either. I haven't discovered fast travel yet. Um, I think there's, you can get like wagons. You can hire a wagon uh, to take you kind of like Skyrim. You could hire a cart. Uh, so I know that there is that, but that is honestly the only thing that I know about travel in this game. How did it work in the first one? I don't remember now. Fancy a look at my wares. Where was the pawnbroker at? That's the alchemist. It was... Or this way, wasn't it? That's literally, <laughs> uh, never mind. I misunderstood what they meant by pawn. Uh, let me explain. The pawn guild, that's not a pawn shop. Like where you go to hawk stuff, uh, they, they trade in pawns there. Well met, sir. Oi, friend. Klaus sent word that you've agreed to rescue some of my pilfered equipment. I'd be grateful for aught you can reclaim, truly. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure thing, man. Fair warning. Goblins are behind these ox cart raids, I've since learned. No doubt they're hoarding the stolen arms in their den. Port crystals that you place anywhere. Fairy stones that were like 3,000 apiece. Uh, there were only like five port crystals per playthrough. And only two. Oh, yeah, that's right. They're static in there. Yeah, you could just go to them in the area. Uh, yeah, I have found a fairy stone in this playthrough so far. I've found one fairy, a uh, fairy stone. Eternal fairy stone that could be reused. Oh, wow, yeah. Oh, that would be great. Uh, I, I honestly don't know that much about it on this one. I, I've really gone into this one kind of blind, uh, just kind of figuring out as figuring things out as I go uh, based off of what I remember from the first one. But like, like I said, I don't even remember how fast travel worked in the first one. So, uh, until, you know, now I remember the, the fairy stones and the port crystals and stuff, but I was like, I couldn't even remember it. From the tell of it, their lair lies somewhere along the Western road. All right. Pray do be careful. If all were to go awry, it would weigh heavily on my heart. Mm -hmm. Losing my wares for good would make me sore, but no sack of gold could compare to a fellow life, eh? All right. Okay, I need to sell some junk, man. I gotta make some money.
Oh, yeah, here's a fairy stone. A stone that can instantly spirit the user back to the location of a set port crystal. I haven't discovered any port crystals yet, so I don't, I don't even know where it would take me if I were to use it. Right, let's catch up with the chat. Mega Man, the Blue Lion. What's up, Mega Man? How you doing, bud? Uh, and let's see, Scott asking, how far into the game are we? Uh, we have just made it to the capital for the first time. Uh, so I'm, I'm all, really only a couple hours in, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm only maybe three hours in something like that. Uh, I played a good bit over the weekend, but I played it through a ways, stopped, started over and played through to where we're at right now. So yeah, I've literally only got maybe three hours total in of actual playtime. Well, that made us enough money to camp for the night. So that's cool. And then uh, let's back out of here. I need to see if I can combine some stuff. I don't remember how to do that now. I'll set that as a priority quest because we are going to do that next. Uh, here we go. Combine! Oh, okay. Fire quenching syrup. Well, yeah, let's make one of them. Couple of them. Wait. There. Removes poison. So another interesting thing about this game, these uh, these food items in your inventory, they can actually go bad. Um, you Stuff will continue to ripen as you hold on to it, and some items will actually become more potent if you wait a little while and let them ripen, where others, or, or any of them, if you wait too long, they'll go sour. They'll actually turn rotten, and they'll make you sick instead of actually doing any good for you. I would like to make some to recover stamina. I've kind of been struggling with stamina here lately. Yeah, see, these all recover health, which is cool, but I really need to be able to recover stamina. Uh, but yeah, if you turn them into a potion, instead of uh, just letting them rot. I think the potions will last forever, essentially, or for a very long time, at least. There it is. We've got at least one here to make a great deal of stamina. I think that's about all I can make. Yeah, this won't mix with anything else. Yeah, that's about it, I reckon. Okay, well, cool. Now I've got a bunch of stuff that isn't going to go bad on me now because I've turned it into potions. You know, you may be right, Jer Bear. Is it meat specifically that does stamina? I see this fish here does uh, health. I don't have anything I can com uh, combine it with. Boom, okay, we got a bunch of good stuff there. Hey, I bet we could... Probably actually sell some of those potions. Claim ought from the fiends. It would bring me peace of mind. Let's see. Oh, and I didn't check everybody else's inventory either because the other characters. Yeah, see, they're carrying shit that's already gone rotten. Uh, rotten potatoes and stuff. Dang, I forgot about that. What is this? Huh. Hydrophobic potion. <laughs> Removes the wet condition. Why would you want to remove the wet condition?
Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, the uh, camping supplies pack, things that allow you to camp in the field. Uh, a, you have to be at a campfire, which you can't make. You have to just find a campsite. Uh, and you have to have one of these camping kits on you. And they're fucking heavy. Like, just this one here is like seven pounds. Oh, yeah, wet socks. You do want to dry out your wet socks. Yeah, I hate wet socks. <laughs> I've actually, I have left work early. Uh, not like recently, but... Over the years, throughout my life, I have actually left work early a couple of times just because my feet got wet, and I'm like, man, fuck that. I'm going home. <laughs> Go take a hot shower, put some clean, dry socks on, man. Fuck y'all. <laughs> it's been a while, but it has happened. Oh, hey, this guy's carrying. Yeah, no wonder this dude is so... um. Yeah, no, we got to... Uh -uh, hang on. To know we got to sell some of that shit. There we go. Yeah, I didn't realize this guy was still carrying, like, his basic little starting sword and stuff. Damn, yeah, we got to sell those. I've already gotten him way better stuff. Now, this... Actually, this looks nice. I don't know how this compares to what he's currently Talk carrying. Lesson, at least. Let me see what he's currently carrying. No? Okay, this one is better. <laughs> Wrong button. It's not X, it's circle. It is a bit weird pressing circle to uh, as your interact button. I hope you can reclaim but generally that's like cancel or exit. Mind to know someone taught them a lesson at least. <laughs> yeah, remove the re remove that wet condition if you do not want irritation. Yeah, put some powder on. You know, <laughs> got to powder up so you don't get chapped. You know, what is that? Chapped ass. <laughs> Uh, uh, your pants ripped one time and you had to just tie your hoodie around your waist because they wouldn't let you leave work for it. Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> I've had my I had my zipper broke on my uniform pants at job at, at my job one time. The uniform pants were kind of crappy and the zipper just broke. So, like, my fly was hanging open. I was like, well, shit, all right. So I took just like a towel <laughs> and wrapped it over my belt where I had basically just like a loincloth hanging over the front of my pants with this towel hanging down. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's that's why you're such a, a big fan of like actual like boots, wet feet, shit, yeah. Let's do this. Let's actually just roll through each character and see what they have to sell. Keep that. Damn, she is still, she cannot carry that. I'm going to have to give that to somebody else. All right. Well, these actually don't sell very well. Wouldn't there would not be much point in selling them. They don't sell very well. <laughs> My whole ass was hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> and they wouldn't let you leave work. Damn. That's messed up. Okay. Now I'm ready to head back to the inn. We will camp for the night. And then we'll head out in the morning and see if we can go find this guy's lost uh, weapon shipment type stuff or something. Good evening, sir. I trust you fared all right on the roads despite the hour. No, man. I've been in town all day. You calm down. Gaming today. After resting, go out the door upstairs, 
jump across the roof to the tower. There are some chests to loot. Ah, cool. I found one hidden chest. Uh, one of my pawns said something about a ladder nearby. So I found, found the ladder and went up there and grabbed the chest. Uh, when I came back in today, they said the same thing, and I forgot I had already done that one. Let's rest until the morning. An important duty in its own right. This ladder looks uh, damn, you got this week off too? Dang, girl. Yeah, see, just now they said something about a ladder that looks sturdy enough to climb. Uh, they don't mean these stairs. They mean that somewhere nearby there is a ladder. Oh, a bunch of flowers. They left some flowers on the bed for me. That's adorable. Okay, now the comment is, after resting, go out the door upstairs, jump across the roof to the tower. So here we are. Oh, here's a ladder. Yeah. Oh, shit. I <laughs> just fell. It's a good thing I didn't fucking die. Fall to my death like an idiot. Oh, shit. Can I get back? I can't get back up there, can I? Oh, yeah. It's just up these stairs. Okay. Right on. Well met, sir. Yeah, up the ladder first. Cool. Yeah, I heard them say something about the ladder, and I saw it there, and I figured that had to be it. So what we want to do, though, is go across the roof to the tower. So probably this way. Oh, easy killer. Oh, you got to be careful with that shit. Oh, oh. <laughs> He'll get to sliding, and you can't make him stop, man. I wanted to make a running jump yeah i was not sure we could make that one Ooh, check it out these are pretty chest the fancy chest damn thanks gaming today a, useful a fairy stone nice a fast travel stone that's handy we must save it for a time of dire need a silver rapier interesting wonder if that's going to be any good for my helper the Seeker's Token. Places, Damn, dude, there is good loot up here. Nice. And some Savant's boots, huh? Can we go this way? Can we go down this hatch? It doesn't look like it. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, cool. And let's go over to this guy. And this sword's not quite as good as the one he has right now. Better knockdown power, though. That's interesting. Damage is... Okay, so the damage is only like five points lower. Oh, but this one's been enhanced a couple times. Hmm. <laughs> let's go ahead and do that. That's a pretty good weapon better knockdown power than the one he had and only slightly lower damage <laughs> how did he die dragon basilisk demigod alas dear sister he fell on his ass <laughs> oh scott you're on spring break right now well that's cool man Sounds like it's a good time to hang out and get caught up on some live streams and stuff. Oh, look, she's just up here taking in the view. <laughs> wow, that was really good. That was a good spot right there. Shit, now I'm looking around for other places we can only reach from, like, up high. Because we found one that was over here. Where's the marketplace at? Yeah, these, this ladder, like, almost center screen led to uh, a chest over there. Right over there, just above my head. 
Steve Elliman. What's up, Steve? Howdy. Okay, now can we get down safely? We're about to die, aren't we? Interested in my wares? <laughs> I love the way he jumps and you can tell because like he'll get where he's just about too far forward and he's going to fall and then he'll land and like you're okay so you can tell if you're not going to be okay because he'll get just too far and fall on his fucking face like you can tell when he's going to make it and when he's not All right, let's get out of here. I want to head out of town. Oh, uh, let's see the world map. Yeah, he said the West Road. And I believe this is our marker here for the goblins that are stealing supplies. So we're going to try to head out this road here and go as directly down this path as we possibly can. Because we, we really don't want to be out after dark. <clears throat> That's just, just, just not ideal. It's kind of like Days Gone and like the early hours of Days Gone. You want to not get caught out after dark as much as you can. Because in this game, after dark, shit gets serious. Like beasts or brigands in an ox cart. But I'm willing to take the risk to put my feet up. <laughs> One hopes these carts offer comfort commensurate to their cost. I'm not even sure where the ox carts go, honestly. I haven't. I There was like a story mission that we, I followed the story mission to get to the, uh, the capital city that we're in right now. And we rode a cart to get here, but I haven't like purchased one or I don't know how it really works yet. You know, I don't have a drink yet. I may get, get some wine here in a minute. I bought a box of wine for Claire. I may have some here in a minute. Whiskey and Sprite Zero. Normally ginger ale, but ginger ale zero sucks. Yeah. I can't even imagine. I don't really care for ginger ale and like, um, you know, tonic water and stuff like that. I would rather just have a Sprite. Sprite Zero. There's just something about bourbon and Sprite, man. It goes together so well. Oh, wait, where's my... Oh, that's right. Hang on, my other helper. <laughs> she's she's over-encumbered. She's just kind of lumbering along like, oh my god, why did you guys do this to me? Girl, where are you going? To the ore, I feel, standing atop this bridge. Built. Why won't she stand still? And taxes, no doubt. Like I'm trying to catch up to her, but I can't catch up to her. You, stop running. There, I'll take some of this stuff off of you if you'll calm down. Oh, damn, that made... I see. I have an idea. I can take the armor. I think we should run back to the inn real quick and dump some stuff in the storage. Let's see. There's a ladder here. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. Yeah, yeah, we already found it, but thanks. Um, let's go to storage. Well met. You are come to Shakir's Inn. Up you will soon forget yeah, I know. the fatigue I know. of long I know. when treated to the f I know. Alright, so I don't need to be carrying one of these. And she doesn't need to be carrying one of these, so that took a little bit of weight off of us. 
And I'll have my fighter dude carry one. Because we only basically need one camping kit. Is we're only going to camp maybe one night. If we even have an opportunity to camp, we'll only do it the one time. Tea with Crown Royal Peach. Oh, my. Hmm. Actually, I'm kind of craving a Long Island iced tea. I haven't had a Long Island iced tea in a long time. That's one I used to drink a lot, man. I would get the mix of, uh, it was just the Long Island iced tea mix with, it had the five, the five liquors in it. And, uh, then I would get the like sweet and sour. And I think I would mix mine with Coke. And, uh, it's interesting. You actually can make it like iced tea in that if you like your tea sweet, we'll use more soda and less of the sweet and sour stuff. Uh, but if you like your tea like unsweetened, we'll then only use like a splash of soda and more sweet and sour. So you can actually mix it how you like it. The effects of camping, uh, on my health bar, you do you guys remember in Lies of P uh, and, and some other games like as you lose health, like it, you lose a section of your health bar that won't refill until you have a certain status. In this game, you'll lose some of your health and some of it will refill, but you'll get to like a gap at the end there that will not refill until you rest. Uh, even like healing spells and stuff, they'll fill you back up to your new maximum, but they won't fill up the end of the health bar until you rest. Unsweet tea is a sin. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one second, folks. All right, we're back. Second to that question. Long Island iced tea is creeper for me. Love them so much you don't notice how much you drink until you're walking like Ace Ventura. See, that's the thing I like about them, though, is like you really don't, it doesn't taste like you're drinking an alcoholic beverage at all. So it's like you're just drinking a fucking glass of tea. But, I mean, you have to be aware of how many you've had. <laughs> And the night is not earth over until you get birthed from a rhino. <laughs> oh, I love that bit. Uh, okay, I, I love the map here. Like, I can actually see the path that I'm supposed to be taking west out of town. All right, so we dumped some uh, cargo. We, we went back to the inn and we took a dump before setting out. <laughs> and let's find the road out of this fucking place. Gotcha. This is not where I'm trying to go. I just want to take the main road out of town. Like this one up here, this path that's up here, man. How do I get up there? Here we go. You're always such fun to talk to. You're always. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go. Yeah, man, you can tell when somebody messed up the tea. You take one drink of it, it's like, oh, what happened here?
Those look like bandits, don't they? One second. Always busy, busy, busy. Oh, that's my kiddo. She's uh, talking about which college she's picked. Hmm. Cool. Come to think of it, different masters favor different pawns. One whom I served preferred to have bistrons for allies. Now there's a thought. expect to see an entire basket of Saurians picking out a boat. Indeed, I'd not expected things to be easy, but this is looking rather hopeless. Hmm, okay. Well, they don't appear to be bandits, as I first suspected. This as well. It must have startled the beasts out of their lair. Ooh, are you going to switch over and play some Ghost of Tsushima? Yeah! I was really enjoying those couple episodes of uh, Ghost of Tsushima we did on New Game Plus recently. Uh, I was really having fun with that. Hmm. I see which way the wind's blowing. Okay. Uh, what a bother. Hmm. All right, whatever. Hmm. There appears to be some ruins over here. Let's go ahead and check that way. Let's kind of hang left a little bit and take that path. What are you? I enjoy tackling fierce. I didn't ask. I didn't ask. Go away. All right. <laughs> so that's the one problem with this game so far. Like it, it, one thing that's actually a little bit annoying. Uh, you have these henchmen that follow you, and like that's like the thing that makes the game is that the pawns they're actually really good helpers. Uh. And you, you want to swap out for, to different helpers to try different styles and stuff. Uh, but they will just walk right up and get right in your face and say, hey, you want to hire me now? I was like, dude, maybe let me initiate the conversation if I'm looking for a new helper. Maybe, maybe calm down with that shit. I'm on top chat. God dang it. Sorry, guys. I'm on top chat. Y'all make sure you're on live chat or all messages or whatever it may be because i actually didn't see scott's comment they can fuck you if they're wait what <laughs> uh-huh all right couple shots in scott oh there's this little tower out here Oh, it's harpies. I see. There's a bunch of harpies up there. Is that harpies? That's not harpies. That's like birds, man. Hang on. Let's go investigate. We got hours. We got time. We got a couple hours before nighttime. I see loot already. Three dried meat. And some loot. Oh, yeah, Jeremy, I think you can, actually. Uh, I'm pretty certain that you can adjust that for your helpers, like the ones that are uh, that you have hired. But there are random ones that'll walk up off the street and be like, hey, you want to hire me, don't you? It's like, dude, stop with that shit. Calm down. I could see them doing that, like being set to act that way. If you don't have any pawns with you, one would run up and be like, hey, you want to hire me, don't you? Because like, dude, you don't have any pawns. What now? Oh. Oh, 
those harpies. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early griffin gets the worm. Uh, you want to get out of the way so we can handle this? Shit. Hey, hey, uh uh, let go of me, let go of me. Stop it. That could have been bad. Put some healing magic on me. I need it. Now let's get back. See, I don't know how to target enemies yet, or if you even can, like, lock on to a target. This is a bad spot to be fighting harpies, man. I think one of my helpers is dead. Shit. be a better way to be doing this. Where the fuck is my helper at? That was superb arisen. I don't know where this dude's at to help him. What, did he fall all the way down to the bottom of the tower? You do have only a limited amount of time to revive your helpers. We'll want to make it over uh, here we go. How to close the distance? If only we had a harpy snake smoke beacon down. We could lure a harpy here. All right. That was rough, man. You'd feel like an archer would be better at dealing with uh, flying critters. <clears throat> Ah, hey, 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 we need to say hello to Theraguay. What's up, man? What's going on? And also, Ryan also. What's up, Ryan? How y'all doing? Oh, you weren't expecting Dragon's Dogma. Yeah. I love this game. Oh, and Captain Caffeine Cap. What's up, buddy? Captain Caffeine is in the house. Fuck yeah. Welcome in, folks. Good to see y'all here. Yeah, that was rough, man. What, we kill like five, six of them? And Phoenix is here. Welcome in, Phoenix. Oh, a ring of awareness. What is a ring of awareness?
Let's see this ring of awareness. Reduces accumulation of the wearer's sleep value. Huh. I guess that makes you resistant to harpy sleep magic, maybe? Oh, I don't know anything about that, Theraguay. A new vocation? Yeah, I, I honestly, I don't know that much about the game. I have, I've been very careful to not do any research on it because I don't want to do that thing of watch a bunch of videos and figure out how to be really good at it really early. No, I, I actually want to just play I actually just want to play this one. Like, I'll find it as I find it. Okay, so we're done up here. This was a interesting little diversion. This is a powerful weapon. A single bolt loosed from it would carry tremendous lethal force. Yeah, you think? I can think of all manner of uses for a contraption such as this. Might we not lay a trap for our enemies? Ooh, yeah. See, I haven't even seen many trailers. Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. We could pick some now and use them when the need arises. I remember in the first one, my favorite was a, uh, it seems like you could mix and match. Like you could do a bit of melee and a bit of ranged. And I think it was like a, an archer and uh, two daggers type character that I played in the first one. Oh, there is a lot of stuff here. See, I want to be careful also to not spend too much time out just like uh, picking flowers and gathering ingredients for alchemy and stuff. I don't want to spend a lot of time doing that just yet because this game is very much time sensitive. You do not want to be caught out after dark. Ah, this is luck. This is good. There's a campsite right there, that little campfire. We could potentially use that if we needed to, uh, to prevent us from being stuck out after dark. Run. There's like a cyclops or something over there. Think we can take him? Let's find out. Goblins approach! And goblins. Never mind. We not shrink from danger. We have the strength to prevail over anything. Enchantment of cold to freeze our foes. Oh, that killed him. Man, I hope that's. Oh, shit, the Cyclops engaged. All right. Focus. A moment of indecision may spell our doom. Perhaps. Oh shit, my stamina's low. I should not have let that happen. Thank you, dear. We made a shitload of healing potions, so let's do that. But I think I actually have these. These are even better. Let's use one of those. Yeah, yeah, one of them. And then I should have one to restore some stamina as well. Only had one of those, so that's not ideal. 
But anyway. Much fancy fighting in this beast's shadow. What? Well done. Look out, Arisen! We're under attack. Uh, really? I had not noticed. Shit, I missed. That fool knocked me right out to air. Oh, I'm... Wow. Uh... Should have saved my game, huh? Yeah, I've been trying to aim at the eye. I just barely even seem to be getting headshots. down. Maybe the Cyclops will come in here and uh, fight these guys. We're about to fucking die. Recklessness has done them no favors. They ought to have conserved their strength. Moment of victory is at hand. Let us finish this. Master, we've got company. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> I was hoping I would have time to revive him. All right. Looks like we're going back to a save. Damn. Arisen has fallen. Arisen is no longer Arisen. <laughs> yeah, newts with gloves and shields, yeah. That was intense. Yeah, that was way more than we were ready for. I, I was really hoping... Whoa, that is not actually my last save, is it? And let me check one thing. Do I still have my wake stones or did we use them? We did not use them. Okay, good. Let's go. Bye. Hereabouts. I'd say we collect as much as we can carry. I'd say you shut your fucking mouth and get out of there. There. <laughs> now, we want to avoid that guy. Let's go around this way. Oh, yeah, it's PS5. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, I was 
like, I guess maybe I just don't have any daggers equipped. Because I was thinking that, like, even my rogue, my ranger guy here, my, my ranged archer guy, should still, like, have daggers. For, like, when you climb up on the enemies or something. Yeah, we're just going to stay away from that cyclops. Goblins and stuff like that. We can handle goblins. Harpies, goblins. We can pretty much handle that kind of stuff. But, uh, fucking Cyclops. Nah, I'm all right. A flock of harpies draws near. Flame if it's weakness. My curative magics are at your disposal. Wait a minute. Get my magic to in a lamentable boon. My sword strikes true! Oh, we did a lot better that time. <laughs> you have no need of my assistance at present. But I shall be ready to render aid at the moment's notice. <laughs> Much better. That's a lot easier without that fucking Cyclops chasing us. Ooh, destructible bridges. That's interesting. So rope bridges will collapse if you destroy their support stakes. I'll bet we could use that to fight the Cyclops. Ah, you can make use of this to entrap your foes by luring them out onto the middle of the bridge and sending them plummeting to their doom. The severed ends of these bridges can be climbed like ladders. Oh, see, I, we might actually have to try this fucking uh, Cyclops again. I don't really know how much good it would do us, but this bridge here, we could collapse this bridge. With this ox cart assailed... Is in a dreadful state. In no sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early Griffin gets the worm, as they say. Damn, I'm... Whoa! I was not expecting that to happen quite so suddenly. Alright. Damn! Fuck no! No, we're not using a second one on these lizard-ass bastards. Fucking shit! Lizard guys are assholes. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I think so, Theragwai. Oh, it did actually have a pretty good auto save, though. Right here where we were.
Is my health just really that low? My magics are at your disposal. Well, come over here and heal me then. Can they not heal me anymore? Yeah, they're casting buffs on me, but they're not healing me. Can't use it either. Okay, that's just my maximum health now. Shit. No, 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 no. This ox guard was beset by assailants it could not shake. And this is the result. Be on your guard, lest we meet a similar fate. We need not shrink from danger. We've the strength to prevail over anything. Well, not at half health, we don't. Flame is its weakness. Does anybody know if there's a way to like target enemies? To like auto auto target them? I might I would actually use that in this game. Normally I hate auto targeting. But uh we need something like that in this game. Nah boy, don't you be down there fighting them no, fucking no, lizards. No, Get the fuck out of there. Did you fall in a puddle? You're positively soaked. A battle avoided is a battle won, I suppose. Little does our foe realize how narrowly they escaped death's touch. I suppose it's so. Let my magic run to an elemental Fucking lizards. You went over there and pissed off those fucking lizards. <sighs> oh, that's right. You're supposed to hit them in the tail, aren't you? It's not headshots with those lizard guys. It's tail. Yeah, hit them in the tail. I forget about that sometimes. Wizards is down. Now my fighter's down. Oh, damn it. I'm not going to be able to beat these guys. There's no way. There's no way I can beat these guys, and my pawns keep going over there, pissing them off, making them chase us. I may end up changing vocations. I'm actually not having much fun playing the archer. God. Nothing I can do about it. No, I'm not wasting any wake stones on these fucking lizards. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, well, see, I have uh, the tank. It's supposed to be tanking for me. Um... Uh, He's not a very good meat shield when he's over there pissing off lizards that I'm trying to stay away from. All right. Well, we've at least made it a little ways away from the fucking lizards. Yeah. Follow me. Stick with me. Keep up. 
Not another flying foe. Oh, I'm apt to get a crick in my neck. It is easily done. This spell will empower you. Elemental magic. So we managed to get away from the lizards this time. Oh, uh, you like that? Yeah. I was like, yeah, that's right. Keep coming. Keep coming. Get right up in my face. Just like that. Pop. <laughs> we can pick some now and use them when the need arises. This is generally used as a material. Oh, I am not going in that fucking cave. In different creations. And is it almost dark? It's getting late, isn't it? Shit. We're nowhere near our object. Well, we're kind of close to it. There's a campfire like right here. Or we can push forward to the objective. <laughs> you need a sword in your hand in games like these. Yeah, I heard that. I, I actually quite often play as an archer. Uh, I'm just not having very good luck with it on this run. <laughs> that was funny. Magic, oh, I stuck one right in his fucking head. <laughs> parachute! Oh, look at this bad motherfucker coming in, gifting memberships. Hack Parachute, what's up, buddy? Five Spawnicus Rex memberships have been gifted. Check that out. The lucky winners are Cassie D, Sweet Ellis Cookies, Andre. KPE double T and lightning rod 75. Yeah. <laughs> no mames way. Yeah, no mames. Yeah, it's a hell of an entrance, ain't it? Yeah, so this game is a lot of fun, but damn, it is hard, man. Oh shit, there's wolves out. It is definitely nighttime. Things are definitely about to get very serious. Oh, this is not ideal. In fact, I may actually run back to that campsite and then get back up here and do this quest. There are no campfires around here. Oh, what is it? Oh, that's an ore deposit. That's cool. Yeah, we may have skeletons and shit now that it's night. You have undead, like skeletons and zombies and stuff like that. Yeah, man, we are not going off in this goddamn goblin cave at night. That's one thing that's not happening. We'll try to steer clear of the lizards, but we are headed back to a camp, uh, to a campfire. You do not want to be out after dark in this game. Like, I've already stayed out too late. We'll try to stay away from these friggin' lizards. I see wolves on the path. Ice's sting is yours to wield. Uh, with all that light, I can't see this fucking wolf, man. Thank you. That was right on time. Good job. Glad to see you have the matching hand. 
and we're almost to the campfire. Oh shit. Man, whatever that is, I ain't wanting to fuck with none of that. Yeah, that you're uh I'm gonna let that fella over there be a diversion. You folks come on. Oh fuck, it's gonna follow us. God damn it. They beat it. We would be invincible. All right. Let's fucking make camp, shall we? Ryan, can't wait for days gone. Calm damn Skippy. Oh, you need enchantments to hit them? Yeah. It wouldn't let you tight it as. It wouldn't let you do it as C-O-M? That's weird. Yeah, it sounded real pissed off. Whatever kind of ghost that was, it sounded pissed. Alright, let's camp, man. I need to fill up my health. Make it morning. Rest till morning. Yes, please. That was intense, man. Like, I was struggling for a bit there, damn. Okay, now let's stay the freak away from that Cyclops and try to stay away from the, uh... Try to stay away from the lizards. Goblins and harpies I can pretty much handle, but... Lizards and, uh... Lizards and Cyclops is not so much. <laughs> Days gone come. Well, I mean, some folks might, I suppose. It's not entirely out of the question, right? Okay, y'all stay the fuck away from them lizards. Do not go over there fucking with them lizards. I swear to God, don't go fucking this with them lizards. This Oxcart was beset by assailants who could not shake. And this is the result. Be on your guard, lest we meet a similar fate. You need not shrink from danger. We've the strength to prevail over anything. Yeah, I don't know that that's a true statement, ma'am. Yeah, just testing to see if it would let you type it. Oh, uh, you're a moderator. You can type damn near anything in the chat. Uh, I shouldn't have said that. There's no more <laughs> or less than what one might have expected. We'll find a use for it, I'm sure. I do like opening boxes. That is a lot of fun. is well balanced i can see no weaknesses that might be exploited so long as we remember to keep to our assigned roles we shall be a united front in the face of any foe i suppose tis so all right let's go explore the goblin cave Make them rue their own impatience. You've a knack for drawing the enemy, Arisen. Okay. Yes, I'm quite the artist. Uh 
Uh-uh. You're not rolling that shit down the hill at me, homie. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. Yeah, see, generally I like playing as an archer in games like this. I'm just still real early game. I'm still really weak. I'm pretty squishy still. Uh, and also, I have, like, no armor yet. I'm just wearing the rags that I escaped from prison with. We've bought, we've bought some weapons. I bought a better bow for myself, and I bought a sword and shield for my fighter. But, uh, oh, shit. Sorry, excuse me. I, uh, I don't have any armor at all yet. We always do, don't we? I say it? We trounced our foe, well and true. Yeah, there was one okay. goblin. Calm down. We'll spur us into the next. Remain by your side. Oh, yeah, Ryan, you're you're right. Yeah, that's what that is. Is that YouTube does restrict who can send links, which I'm glad for, Here, honestly. An enchantment of coal to freeze our foes. <laughs> I popped him right as he was jumping at me. Oh, think you're bad, huh? Yeah. Goblins, goblins we got. We can do this. The Cyclopses and lizards, yeah, not so much. Found a great sword. And with it, I am now over encumbered. See if I can give that to my helper. Made him heavy. Great. What if he equips it, though? He cannot. Hmm. That's interesting. Combined might is beyond any foe.
freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. Try not to get hit. Mm, shit. Now I'm on fire. That got a little bit intense. Oh, Melissa's back. All right. Ranger's tights. Oh, my. Actually, those might be a decent item for me. I do need some armor. Oh, she just opened the chest, and that's where the ranger's tights came from, probably. All right, let's have a look, shall we? Pilgrim's tights. There we go. No, oh, wrong button. Give those to me. Now I'm heavy. The violence violin was spot on, huh? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I didn't... Dang it. Hang on. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay. Now. Here we go. Oh, much better pants. Yeah, yeah. Now we'll just drop these, just discard that. Okay. That's better. Okay. Lightning Rod 75. What's up, man? Oh, wow. You're going to, you've already bought this and you're going to go start your own playthrough. Right on, man. We'll have fun. Common materials can be found here, methinks. Well, well, that's quite a discovery. This is my first time clapping eyes on such an item. I expect my own master. Oh, has we got some gold and silver ore too. Nice. And I don't know if y'all heard that. My pawn was just saying, "This is the first time I've laid eyes on this." My master will be pleased to hear of this, or something to that effect. And uh, what that means is. When I'm not gaming, these pawns will be traveling with their own uh, gamer, their, whoever's actually playing and owns that pawn. Uh, so they will be able to tell them about stuff that I have discovered, like those uh, ore deposits and stuff. Freed up a little bit of an inventory space for me. Water is now invisible in this gloom. No few times has Oh, that's them damn pants I meant to leave there. It's 
steps soaked my boots. I dare say that's part and this parcel way. of the adventurer's trade. Looks like another passage down. Oh, shit. Okay. Ah. Our results are awaited. What say we make our report? You found an arch staff. I wonder if I can give that to somebody. Oh, we may not be able to use these because, uh... Yeah, because they're quest items. Okay. And we're not quite done yet. There was another passage over here that I wanted to explore. Maybe we don't want to be here. My magics are at your disposal. Ice and stain is yours to wield. Prison has gone up in flames before my very eyes. Mm-hmm. So we have a way down here and a way here. Either way. A hidden path. Watch for the hot goblin. Fire won't do much good here. Best try a different. A moment. Ten did Denny O seven and short round double O seven. What's going on, y'all? I don't know about you, Master, but I'm worn out. Mightn't we have a rest before pressing on? Uh, do you, you see a campfire anywhere? Yes, he's walking around in his underwear because I equipped some armor. <laughs> You're welcome to take whatever you like from my pack, Master. I'd gladly see you put what I find to good use. 
Let my magic drawn to an elemental room. I wanted to roll that down onto him, but that didn't work. You'll not live to regret this. Oh, nice one. Are you? Oh, I did. I am shamed. We were overconfident in our abilities. That was an accident. A painful reminder that fortune will not always favor us. Actually, we did just fine. What are you talking about? We were shamed. We kicked their asses. We should be able to move this boulder with our combined might. I say we give it a push and see what happens. Yeah, and here we are back on the main path. An ideal location for an ambush. Yeah, I'd noticed. That the enemy may not surprise you. Let us proceed with caution. Eyes peeled, ears pricked. Oh, god damn it. One of my helpers is like stuck back here or some shit. Are you doing? Uh, <laughs> she's actually stuck under a rock. Oh, <laughs> wow! All right, is anybody over encumbered? Just tank, but he's all right. He should be able to keep up. All right, y'all want to try to not get stuck in a rock this time? Maybe that'd be awesome. Oh, Melissa, heading out. All right. Thank you for being here, Melissa. Yeah, you didn't notice the tidy whities Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, they're fucking stuck. Okay. I'm pretty sure they will just catch up to me later. Seems like they tend to do a pretty good job of just spawning in beside you when they when they actually get separated from you. A well-organized pack is my specialty. That's nice. To Please it fuck off. Shed. I didn't initiate conversation with you. Out of the cave at last. The air beneath the earth is stifling, to be sure. All right, let's have a look at the map. So we got to try to get back to town before dark, hopefully. Is that you say? to be called to your side arisen.
Hey. The fuck? I see my fight is not yet done. If we must, let us finish this quickly. I thought the wolves mostly come out at night. Okay, and we want to try and avoid this Cyclops again. We do not want to get... Do not want to engage the Cyclops. This seems a decent spot for a campsite. There's no reason to rush into our bedrolls. Is there any way to climb up there? I'm not sure what we'll find, but it might be something useful. Hmm. Answering Pawn's suggestions with Go. That's interesting. Using the Go command immediately after a Pawn makes a suggestion will prompt them to follow through with their idea. Whether that be an offer to guide you to a location or to assist you with a task. I wish I'd known that sooner. Pawns are helpful creatures by nature, and allowing them to guide and assist you will doubtless benefit your adventures. Go, homie. Get on with it. <laughs> I said go. All right, whatever. Let's turn our lamps off because we're wasting oil. All right, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this because I'm not going to spend any time on it, actually. Oh. Hoping we could find a way to get around here and avoid that Cyclops. Because the path just takes us too damned close to him. <laughs> and I shall remain by your side. Yeah, you'll stay away from that fucking Cyclops. Yay, we just about made it back to town. Oh, wait, and there's some shit going on over here. Hang on. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. Shit, I missed. I shan't let it fall. I think it's funny when they give you a little high five as you walk by. We have found a material. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. upon Birdworth. One can only withstand the perils of the open road for so long. <laughs> I suppose to Yeah, so. all right, we completed a mission. I only died like, what, four or five times? I heard a rumor that this land was once a kingdom of Beastrons. Fascinating. Quite, though no definitive records remain. can take us to new heights after you arisen. here's the game well i'll be is that one of my wares i spy on you 
Good on you, sir. I expect these goblins are feeling mighty sore right now. Have you been to see Klaus yet? You'll be able to have him change your vocation. I appreciate you stopping by, but a lone weapon won't save my business. Go on, off with you. Not buying? Yeah, yeah, days gone, Cobb. Better to be selective than Coming up, right around the corner. Browsing was enough to scratch the itch. Welcome to Bjorn's Armory. You'll find only pieces of the <laughs> Any, If there's a command for that, anybody should be able to type it. I have the so if all you check the price, stuff here, though. Hang on. Boom, I can put it in there. Yeah, yeah, it might just be Nightbot freaking out. I never really know. You rotten beast steak. Yeah, let's just sell that. I keep forgetting that I have special arrows. Fucking explosive arrows, I keep forgetting. Hope to see you again. Okay. Now, I think, yeah, this guy is actually the armorer. I should actually see him about buying some freaking armor, man. Bad bot. <laughs> Nightbot has been naughty. Hmm, this actually looks like decent stuff. Defense of 82. The defense on this is even higher, as goofy as it looks. So I can do a leather helm or a plumed cap. The plumed cap is actually a little bit better. see oh some good shit looks like the best i can do right now is the hunter's mail survive okay so i got some actual armor from a dude these don't do anything? Oh, they have a little bit of defense on them. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, the pants I'm wearing are actually pretty good. Do they still show his butt? <laughs> Alright, these are... Hang on. Oh, shit. None of these are as good as the pants that I'm wearing. Okay, I don't need to buy pants. <laughs> Donde esta pantalones? <laughs> so, you check the price, just from many thanks. I appreciate the business. That's a little better. And look, it doesn't show his underwear now. That's nice. <laughs> I guess it assumes you would be wearing a set of armor as well. <laughs> Might as well take a look. Damn. All right. I'll tell you what, I'm going to take a very brief intermission, like seriously brief three minutes maybe and i will be right back y'all don't go anywhere uh if you do go anywhere go watch the video i posted today i put up a first first impressions video of this uh and uh, like i said i'll be right back we're just taking a brief intermission i'll probably go long tonight uh because i'm having a lot of fun playing this anyway uh, i'm going to the pause screen now hello youtube how we doing today 
So I'm working on some Ghost of Tsushima here, trying to warm up for tonight's live stream. And I'm really enjoying this quest line with Yuna. So I wanted to uh, record a couple of missions that I'm doing for her. But it's really challenging for me because this particular mission requires absolute stealth. You cannot be spotted. Most of my viewers know how difficult that is for me. So let's jump into it here and see if we can actually pull this off or not. Looks like a fortress. The Mamushi brothers don't want anyone to see what goes on behind those walls. They're running a slave camp. You've been inside. Taka and I are the only ones who ever escaped. When were you imprisoned here? A lifetime ago. Taka and I were still children. Do you remember what happened? Every moment. Kichizo's beatings. The stink of Manzo's breath. And Taizo's filthy little hands. If we kill them, we'll send a message to their master. Draw Altan out of hiding. about escaping. Mamashi brothers were always cruel. Never like this. Our town brings out the best in people. Jin, I... I can't do this. I just... I can't go back in there. You don't have to. Stay here. I will deliver your vengeance. I will deliver your vengeance. Make them I suffer, love that Jin. line. Taka. For every scar they gave us. For every head they collected from the tired workers who just asked for more water. Make them suffer for me. I can repay their cruelty and take their heads. That won't be enough. Not after Altan pushed them to this. I will kill them where they sleep, without being seen. Show all time that no one is beyond the reach of the ghost. The Mongols won't sleep for a week. Do it. Jin. If it goes wrong in there, don't let them take you alive. Okay, mission objectives. Do not be seen. Do not kill the guards. Sneak into the farm and kill the brothers. Mm, all right. All right. Let's get a feel for the lay of the land. I see a place I could sneak into right there. This guy's center screen standing up in that field over there looks like he's overseeing people. That might be one of my targets. This building is pretty heavily guarded, so that might be another one of my targets in there. And there's a guy in this building right in front of me that I can sneak into, so he's probably one of them also. I don't know exactly where they're at yet, but that seems like a pretty good guess. Alright, I believe we are back. Oh, awesome. I see we didn't lose very many people either. That's kick-ass. I always worry when I take an intermission like that. I feel like it's a bit of a gamble, you know, because it's like, I know... You know, I got shit to do if the stream's, like, not going for a minute. Well, I may go do something else, you know. Uh, but when we take an intermission like that, it's generally because we want to go for a bit longer. Uh, you know, so it ends up being a bit of a gamble. It's like, shit, I don't know, man. Anyway, uh, let's see. I still have a mission marker here. Why do I still have a mission marker here? 
What have I not done? Bring the weapons you have acquired to the guild and present them to the guild head. Take the arches staff and greatsword to the guild. I don't. Can you be more specific? What which guild? Like these are the only two people that I know involved in this quest. Nicely done. But what did you bring it here for? Klaus, Klaus. is the one who needs to see it. Who is Klaus? I don't even know who Klaus is. Are you Klaus? That's Bjorn's armory, so maybe that's not Klaus. Is this Klaus? Filbert. That's Filbert. Who the fuck is Klaus? The Pawn Guild? You reckon? We'll try that. There is a marker that way. The yellow... Uh, on the map is going to be. Who are you there? Your presence is requested at the tavern this evening. That's nice. You don't seem like someone I want to uh, go to the tavern with, homie. Go on, have a look. Interested in my wares? That's Neo Myth. Pleasure doing business with you. I do wish it would show you their name rather than just hail and hold to talk. Like, I know Circle is how I talk to them. Can you tell me who the fuck he is, please? <sighs> Maybe this is Klaus. Good tidings, sir. There's I'll Klaus. The of those plundered weapons. Oh, ho you have procured an archer staff, I see. <laughs> look at the look on this guy's face. Oh, my God. Most excellent. You may now change your vocation to sorcerer, if it pleases you, sir. However, if you wish to register as a warrior instead. No, well, I did that, too, actually. Good tidings, sir. How fares your retrieval of those plundered weapons? Marvelous! You have acquired both an archer staff and a great sword. Mmm, Dandy Dini, you're right. I should have a look at that. You may now change your. I, I did dig through the settings. I don't recall seeing anything like that where it displays name or whatever. Um, but I wasn't looking for it either. What's more, I bear glad tidings. Twould seem our arms shortage is at an end. I dare say the armory will be resupplied anon. Outstanding. Done at last. The chat's laggy. Uh, Not the stream, but the chat. Time. That's weird. We take on another? I would say, uh, maybe just refresh the app anyway. I suppose that comes of serving. Maybe that'll help. Seat of the Sovereign. Priority quest set automatically. View quest list. Let's do view the quest list. Oh, this is all we have. Well, I need to go around and find some side missions, man. That's what I want to be doing. At your leg. I see. I see. Okay. Uh, I'm supposed to be meeting the guy at the tavern. I guess that's what they were talking about a second ago when Captain Ugly walked up and was like, you're expected at the tavern tonight. Tried, failed. Bummer. There's a ladder here. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. Well, let's go. Go find it. Okay, I guess I'll go find it. Well met, sir. Maybe not. Oh yeah, we found this ladder already. Worthy prize, if only it weren't so far away. Welcome. 
same. Look as long as you please. The solution eludes me, but I'm certain there is one. It's like a lot of times I'm following the mini map and I'm not even looking at where the character is going. I'll just bump right into shit like, what? Oh, yeah, you can't go that way, can you? Y'all ever do that? And navigate almost entirely by the mini map. All right, so there should be a main story mission for us. Yeah, here's the guy. Hey, buddy. Your Majesty. I want to go find some side missions Your though. Is impeccable. Before we get too far into just the story. To call for you. Oh, Ryan, you had to reload your chat as well. Hmm. Oh, you know, something else that helps is sometimes if you'll just cycle it from like live chat to chop chat, uh, top chat back to live chat, uh, sometimes that'll like do the same as refreshing it. You know, I don't like doing that though, because I assume YouTube's algorithm is like, oh, somebody put it on top chat. They love top chat. I'm like, no, motherfucker. I was just trying to refresh it back to live chat. Calm down. Nobody wants top chat, man. Literally, its only function is to allow us to toggle it off so we can, like, refresh the page. <laughs> refresh the chat. As I informed you when last we spoke, the palace is filled with the Queen Regent's sycophants. Oh, this is going to be, like, uh, minor early game story spoiler stuff. We are doing story missions now. Should Deesa denounce your majesty as a false arisen, few would elect to doubt her. Yet if we are to prove your identity, I believe there is no occasion more suitable than the coronation. It was delayed so that the sovereign, that is... I'll explain more in a minute. ...could convalesce in the palace, but the date has now been set. So what's going on here is like, your your player character, your main character, pretty early in, you find out that you are actually the rightful king or or queen, whichever, you know, the sovereign. Uh, you are the rightful sovereign. And uh, there's been a plot that they've basically... Um, the I'm not even going to go into much detail. We'll find out more as we go. But the plot was that they had a curse put on you where you lost your memory and then sold you into slavery in a neighboring country uh, in, in a different land, you know, a foreign land. You're a, you were just sold as a slave, uh, <laughs> taken across the border and sold as a fucking slave with no memory. And that's when you wake up and, you know, you have no memory of any of that. You didn't know. You're just a fucking slave in a slave camp that we broke out of earlier. Uh, but, yeah, it's that's the thing is you're actually the rightful Central sovereign of this land. And this guy's like the captain of your knights and uh he can't come out openly because the uh the enemy party is just too damn strong right now they they did their coup very very well none would be able to deny that you are the true arisen then there is a problem however entry to such an event is limited to the chosen few only select members of the nobility and citizens who have contributed greatly to Vermont's continued prosperity will be granted entry. If your majesty is to be counted among them, you will need to attend to a number of tasks. Pray, allow me to summarize them for you. See, I'm telling you, the way they talk, it's like, it's like listening to, to your, like if you have like good friends that are big nerds that are into like LARPing and stuff and, or they're like, uh, I don't know, uh, in a Shakespearean actor class or something. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, hey, we have some actual. Okay, I see. Um, that will be all. No. Uh, RLB. What's going on? Hello and welcome. Got some voice acting skills. Yeah, actually, I, I would love to pursue voice acting. I mean, I mean that's pretty much what I do is I... I, I'm using my voice for live broadcast, which I guess that counts as like this. This job is basically the same thing as like a radio DJ back in the day. You know, we're putting on a basically putting on a radio talk show. I, I guess that counts really. Uh, never imagined it in this form, but <laughs> here we are. 
welcome in. Cheers. Uh, let's see. I want to know about this this naughty young lady right here, the Queen Regent. To infiltrate the palace to gather evidence of Deezer's misdeeds. I hesitate to ask something so dangerous of you, yet I fear we have few other options. <laughs> yeah, stick man. That's it. That's what it's like being at a fucking Renaissance fair. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of Renaissance Festival. Which Renaissance Festivals are fucking great. I, I go all the time. Shit, Claire and I went to a Renaissance Festival not long after we moved up here. There's an, a pretty big one up here. Had a great time. Uh, but it's it's hard to... It's like, I okay, there... I get the uh, period piece of it. You know, I, I, I get that 100%. I have attempted to do the same through my own It's just funny. Now, with that, I could undertake the task myself. With, really, it is, it is genuinely amusing to me because the voice actors, the, the voices, the, guy, the talent doing these voices, pretty fucking good, actually. It's really so, solid voice Thank acting, you. just the dialogue is funny. Might I ask this task of you? Oh, Ryan, yeah, the uh, there you can get some reasonable flights. The door to the Queen Regent's office is open to midnight. Anybody's planning to come to Days Gone, come time to conduct your investigation. Absolute nerve. Okay, search for evidence of Deesa's misdeeds. Now, can I still talk to him about the other ones? Can do. Excellent. Well, tell me about this magistrate. I, I don't know who he is, but we're probably going to kill him later. No doubt. We'll lend his support to your majesty's cause. All right. I refer to Waldar, a magistrate. All right. Oh, okay. Many a time, a somebody who's loyal, Waldor, amend the code of Vermont to her own benefit. It does, yeah, Many sure. Time, and and the fantasy vibe of this game is one thing I'm enjoying so well. Like we even just the start screen, course. like just the the starting screen when the game comes up and you press any button to start. It's village life. Uh, it's just like. That's the scenery that's moving around is just life in the village here. And uh, it's fucking beautiful, actually. I, I was recording the other day, and I realized I had recorded like three or four minutes of just sitting there watching the start screen. Because it's just like people moving around the village, and the time of day is changing. And it's it it feels like kind of hanging out in the keep of a medieval castle. Uh, it's it's actually quite nice. Uh, so the the that feel of it, they, it's incredible. That's... Is our right That's one thing I'm really enjoying about it. Thus, as the staunchest supporter of the law known to the palace, I'm quite confident that Waldor will be willing to vouch for your majesty. All right. What say you? My man. Might you be willing to aid me in arranging the magistrate's release? Hmm, yeah. I, um, uh, all things considered, we plan to have one in 2025 as well. You know, it's things happen fast these days, you know, but as you know, plans may change. But as far as we can tell, we intend to just continue doing this annually. I'm sorry you couldn't make it this year. I prepared a means for you to enter the palace dungeons. Pray. A means to enter the palace dungeons. End of dungeon is it? This mission demands the utmost secrecy. Pretty. Pretty be cautious, <laughs> your majesty. I'm sorry, like I like this guy, this actor. I'm I gotta give this guy credit because man, he delivered that fucking line. Where I'm sit I say prithy and I'm sitting here giggling, and this guy's like prithy. <laughs> the voice Should acting is discovered. great. I will be unable to lend aught in the way of aid. Heidi! Hello, ma'am. Welcome in and hack parachute. Oh, but you got a direct flight into Denver, right on? Yeah, yeah. I like I like uh, the Denver International Airport. It's actually it, it's a cool looking airport, man. It's it's laid out well. Like even the the they've changed some of the the highways going in, and uh, they've got this crazy little setup where if you miss your exit, you can do this crazy little shamrock thing and just get looped right back around to where you needed to be. 
I was like, okay, that's convenient. Cause of course my dumbass, I missed my exit, but <laughs> we were able to recover. Uh, welcome in guys. Oh shit. And Miranda Saturn is here as well. Hello. Hey man, y'all come on in. Yeah. Yeah. Good to see y'all. Yeah. I'm really digging this game. Like I, <laughs> this is one of those games where I'm going to, I know I'm going to end up playing it to the point where we've only got like four and five viewers every night. And I'm like, fuck y'all. I want to play this. Y'all go whatever <laughs> we'll play days gone on friday let me play this tonight <laughs> it's like with baldur's gate like the views got down to like three and four viewers and it's like i know baldur's gate's one of those games that's fun to play but not fun to watch because there's a lot of like sitting there looking at the at the tactical screen planning out your next move and shit uh, but this one is, this is a lot better. Once we get leveled up and we get out where we can take out some badass enemies, because there's massive fucking fights in this one. That Cyclops, I had to run from him. Uh, but later we'll be out taking, taking down stuff like that. All right. So, okay, we've completed that. We didn't talk to him about, there's one more thing we can talk to him about. I almost missed that. There is much we ought to tend to. Uh, indeed, yeah. And now let's talk about the fun stuff. Tell me of monster culling. The citizenry have called upon my soldiers to cull monsters that plague the land. All right. I dare say, it would be a fine contribution were you to accomplish these tasks unaided. Unaided? Well, I mean, you could, like, send a couple of shields with me, right? What say you? Might I ask for your cooperation in this matter? I of thank course. you, your majesty. He wants me to go kill some monsters. What he doesn't know is we were going to do that anyway. The first is Travo Mine to the northwest. I've already been there. We've had oh, you goblins swarming in great numbers. You about to send me out to that cave again, aren't you? Next is Half Village, west of Burnley. I should have I should have come and talked to this guy first, man. I could have knocked out two two uh missions at the same time. Finally, all right. <laughs> there is a call for someone to locate a group of soldiers. I guess I could look at it as like grinding that location. They were last seen crossing the second bridge on the eastern edge of Vermin. Oh, RLB, what you got? You got a Steam Deck? Nice. Uh, let me ask, have you ever played Days Gone? Uh, I'm assuming if you found our channel, you probably know Days Gone. Uh, if not, I have heard that days gone actually plays really really well with the steam deck in fact uh the team at ben studio you know they took a little time to make sure it was optimized for that as well so if you haven't played it yet uh if you haven't played days gone or if you uh just want to check it out on the steam deck i've heard it works really well there is no shortage of beasts that need culling in this world cooperation is our strength we face our task with an advantage. Oh, stick man, you flying energy. straight in. <laughs> Dandy Denny, you got to stop in Dallas for DFW? Like, is that... <laughs> you're not, like, making a stop there because you wanted to hang out in Dallas. It's like they're just routing you there on your flight. All right, now I think that's everything we can... All the missions we can get from this guy. Yeah, that's everything I can talk to him about right now. Follow me. You follow me. Can I break pots? We can break pots. Now you gonna make me do my temper. Why would someone do such a thing? This is too much. That's fucking awesome. We can break pots. Yeah. I've never heard such noise. That's fucking awesome. I've never done a jump spinning kick on a pot before. That's like the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. We should probably leave now. The people seem to be getting agitated. Bye. <laughs> yeah, so I was talking about the start menu earlier and how I could actually just kind of sit there and watch the start menu for a minute. It's basically the camera floating around this spot right here, this fountain here, as people are walking around doing their thing. And uh, it's kind of cool, actually. It kind of looks like, you know, I don't know, living in a medieval castle or something. Oh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. 
So we've got what Final Fantasy VII remake, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. What was the next one? Final Fantasy VII Afterbirth. Uh, where are we going with these titles, man? I'm just teasing. <laughs> oh, I mean, you could have gone to like Miami, the you know that way, and, and then up to Denver that way. I, I, I guess that sounds like. I mean, that just sounds like a gross misuse of fucking jet fuel to get one person where they're headed literally the opposite direction, like twice as far the opposite direction, stop you there. And then, okay, now you're headed to, like, what the, what the fuck are you people doing with our fuel, the, the limited amount of fossil resources that we have to make fucking jet fuel? What, what, what are these fucking companies doing with that shit, man? You'd think they'd be a little more, I don't know, economic with that shit. Final Fantasy 7? Nah, shit, I'm all about some Final Fantasy 7. I'm actually thinking about playing the first one. Like, just, just for me, Just I'm certainly not going to try and stream something uh, old school like that. Uh, retro, as it may be. But uh, we do have systems that will play like the, uh, you know, the PS1 games. Florida round trip. Oh, yeah, damn, that was your round trip? There and back? No shit? Oh, no wonder. I mean, yeah, shit, come on. That is very reasonable. All right, let's actually find some trouble to get into, shall we? Um, I, I really want to pick up some more side missions. I suppose I could just kind of get out and talk to some folks. I don't necessarily just want to go explore yet. I really would prefer to pick up some missions. I guess we could go run Trevo Mine again. Um, that's simple enough. Can we fast travel? We can set a waypoint, though. Oh, hey, yeah. check it out. You have multiple waypoints. That's cool. Uh, we could use that to keep track of, like, loot locations that we find and stuff or, you know, just spots where good stuff respawns. Oh, shit. Are, are the, uh, is the hotel about full? The little heart is in the way. I can't see your full comment. Hotel is, is that expensive? I see. Well, guys, I'll tell you what. There's absolutely no, re there's no expectation uh, that anyone will stay in the same hotel. Uh, we really just figured folks might want to just for convenience. Uh, but if y'all find a better deal on a hotel somewhere, man, don't stay. Yeah, don't uh, save money where you can. Uh, I guess is what I'll say on that. Save money where you can. If the because the reason we booked that hotel is because it was relatively inexpensive uh, for the area and for the rooms that we got there. For the room that we got there, we get a nice suite. So we have like a bedroom and bathroom, and then there's also a like a living room kitchen area. So we have like an area to entertain. Um, yeah. Too late. I already booked it. Well, okay. It's probably going to be worth it. <laughs> I, I reckon we'll have a good time. If nothing else, we'll have a hell of a time. You count on that. Damn, good job, Hack Parachute. Fuck yeah, I got a deal on the flight and the hotel right on. Judicious shopping. Uh, I want to actually go do something. Uh, let me walk around and maybe meet some folks, man. Was it 2000 for a room at night? Well, I have 11000 Now, hell, we could actually go buy some gear now. That's what we ought to do. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Uh, which one, dude? Oh, hey, uh, put that up. Put that up, homie. Sorry, wrong button. <laughs> Welcome to Bjorn's Armory. And quality is what you need. I hope that does. I hope mistakes like that so don't affect your, like, um... Mines like whatever your trust with the days. merchants or whatever. Your affinity. Yeah, stumbling back to your room beats getting on the road, that's for sure. Yeah. Oh, paying double because you're or paying more because you're bringing a guest. Yeah. <laughs> Heidi, start saving money now <laughs> for like, what'd you say, 2026, was it? Hope so. I, I sincerely hope that we're still doing this. Uh, 
and or bigger and better by then. You know, there's no telling. I mean, that's we intend to keep it going. I just I mean to say there's no telling how big it may. <laughs> there's no telling how big it might get, man. You know, you keep playing with it. Shit, <laughs> it's going to get bigger. <laughs> Let's see what this guy's got. Uh, I need to equip my helper dude. Yeah, here we go. What can we do for him? Yeah, we can we can uh, get him some better stuff. He can't wear that. Interesting. So the best we can do for him is just a good old iron helm. Okay. Well, when do I unlock stuff like, oh, wait, wait, whoa, here we go. Ah, there's some plate. Ah, ha, ha. I can't afford it. <laughs> yeah, I could put him in some plate mail. Actually, I, I, well, it's really not that significant of a boost. Uh, 31. Yeah, I guess that's a pretty good defense boost off of one item. Uh, Ryan, uh, yeah, y'all don't put the hotel in the chat. Do not put the hotel in the chat, please. Uh, contact us on the Discord. Um, what you what you really want to do, Ryan? If you'll, uh, yeah, there's there's a message uh, thread on the Discord for sharing information about the flights and the hotels and stuff for like specifics uh, for like specific information. Uh, if you haven't done it yet, go ahead and uh, do your buy your ticket through PayPal so that Claire can get the notification to send out like the the email with all the information. If you haven't already received that stuff, go ahead and do that. Yeah, yeah, that's the way to take care of that. Because, like, there's only 15 people uh, in the chat watching right now. And most of those folks are probably folks that are coming anyway. Uh, but let's not put out, like, the the specific location and stuff. Because uh, we don't want any, uh... <laughs> we don't want any weirdos showing up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, anyway, oh, I kind of forgot what I was doing. Oh, shit, there's some good, we got some good stuff here. Yeah, uh, you'll PayPal $15 to daysgonepod at gmail.com. Uh, it's daysgonepod at gmail. And uh, that'll... That'll get it where the she gets the email, she'll get the notification, she'll send the response email uh, with all the info. Well, I can't afford these pants, man. I got to calm down off of that shit. These are, these are significantly better than what I'm wearing now. These are only a little better, less expensive. So I can do 4000 for some pants. And that'll save me about 6000 for a shirt. I can't afford that shit. Yeah, we can do... Let's do some good old-fashioned plate mail armor for this young man here. And he's equipped it. Nice. And now let's go back to him, and we need to get him some britches. I think these are the ones I wanted to go with. Actually get him some good pants. Yeah. All right. And we don't have much left. So I don't think there's really anything else we can do for him. Yeah, I can't even, can't even afford the helmet there. <laughs> yeah, Ryan, I literally don't have the information to give you. I don't even know the name of the hotel. That's just, that's how we've been doing it, is uh, sending out the, uh, the email with all the info. Can't really afford anything for my wizards. I'll hold off on getting them any stuff. These are actually not even my pawns anyway. I've like borrowing them from somebody else. All right. We can sell some stuff though. Let's ditch some stuff. <laughs> I 
You get it, Miranda. <laughs> I mean, it's the nature of the beast, right? Nature of the business. Rotten shore fish. I don't sell them that. Hey, man, you want to buy some rotten fish? You know, some, you know, some rotten fish for you. Ooh, savagery extract. Now that sounds fun. Drink it to boost your strength and magic for a period of time. All right. Dig that. And what am I selling? See, I'm, I'm at that early point where I'm afraid to sell anything because I'm like, shit, I might need that. Shit, I might need that. Oh, shit, I might need that. Actually, I need to equip these rings, man. Nobody's wearing any rings. Many Argue. thanks. I appreciate the business. A bit terror is entered the chat. Hello, ma'am. <laughs> no, long girl, what are you, wait, what are you choking and spitting on, young lady? Calm down. This, uh, there might be children present. <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah let's back away from this menu and let's go into like stuff oh yeah should totally combine some stuff and make some more like potions and stuff Ooh. nice I see. Oh, shit. If I mix this, it will recover a great deal of health. I should actually make... Yeah, that's... You should definitely make some of those. Yeah, how do we do stamina? I'd really like to make sure I get stamina. I guess maybe I should be harvesting, like, meat from animals and stuff. I haven't done much of that. Um, I need to figure out how to make stamina curatives. Because that's the problem I have right now. I, I seem to never have enough stamina. <laughs> All the things to be bad at. Yeah, breathing should not be one of them, yeah. Indeed. Alright. Now we can still make some, like, health curatives and stuff, right? A fair amount of health. Fair amount of health. Don't know. Fair amount of health. Great deal of health. Let's do that. <laughs> I don't know. It might make something. It might not. Yeah. Never mind. Just forget to breathe sometimes. <laughs> well, these things happen. These were necessary expenses, mind. No use clinging to every last coin. <laughs> oh, you know what? I forgot. Okay. Now we'll, we'll go in and sell if you want to pretty much anything that we don't like need right now. The shit, the food stuff, it'll just sit there and go bad in your inventory. I'd rather have the money than the rotten fruit. I wonder what these are for. Making of arrows. Interesting. You can craft your own arrows in this? Ah, cool. Okay, now that kind of stuff I'll probably go store in the chest. Which reminds me, I want to go put like a lot of this stuff away. Um, 
let's see. The storage is going to be up here at the inn. Welcome. And it's nighttime anyway, so we should probably camp for the night. And uh, shit, we can't afford to camp. <laughs> That's hilarious. Let's organize storage. And I want to... Let's have a look. Is there anything I want to withdraw? Should probably take out a... A uh, camping kit here because it looks like we're going to need it. Um, let's see. Tank is heavy. We should have a look at what he's carrying. Oh, yeah. Hell, he needs to. No, 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 no. No, withdraw. Deposit. Tank is heavy. Let's have Tank drop some stuff. Why is he carrying meat and stuff? What is up with that? That shit's just going to rot, dude. He doesn't need two of those. Let's drop one. He doesn't have this sword equipped, so we should actually sell this. Yeah, I'm actually going to take that out of the thing, and he's going to take it out, and I'll have him go sell it here in a minute. Now let's go back to deposit. I'm going to keep my explosive arrows. I'm going to put my wake stones away though because I don't want to even uh, I don't want to even possibly use those potions and stuff I'll put away. Crafting material. I assume these are crafting materials. Bunch of old flowers. That's probably a quest item that I'll never care about. Maybe crafting materials? I don't know. Um. Hmm. Different inclination for your pawns. Okay, we've already achieved entry into the capital, so we don't need this quest item anymore. Ah, uh, that's interesting. I see that my pawns have, uh, they've become heavy by picking up, like, crafting materials and stuff that I didn't even notice they were carrying. So this explains why they weren't able to carry as much. I give them, like, one travel pack and they're over-encumbered. I see now why. There we go. That's better. Now, this guy just has, I think he's got a sword that he needs to sell and a set of armor that he needs to sell. And this piece of meat, well, might as well sell that too. So I can't make anything with it right now. Okay. Much obliged. Well met, son. How might I be of service? Let's see. This really is a kind of craftsmanship. Are you in the market for something in particular? Oh, I see. He's carrying pants, too, but they're not that heavy. Yeah, he had... There we go. That's a little better. Yeah. Hmm. 
I don't really want to spend much money enhancing stuff right now. It's actually not very expensive. <laughs> I'm an old bastard. Chopper horn. I don't know what a chopper is. Yet. Haven't met one of those in this game. Ooh, shit, I need to calm down now. I'm getting low on gold. <laughs> Dude, we go. All right, well, I enhanced my armor a little bit, and I still have enough money to go and camp. I'd like to see if we could pick up some more side quests just by talking to people around town. Oh, got a slight little gla graphics glitch there. It's the first one. It's the literally the first one I've seen so far. What do we have in here? Oh, haircuts and stuff. My services lie in the styling of hair and the painting of faces. I see. Should you so desire, I can help you find your truest self. Oh, not for that kind of money, love. Those kind of prices, all you'll get is the tip. See, I guess this is where you would rent an... Uh, yeah, this is where you would pick up an ox cart to travel. That's cool. And what else do we have? Let's check the local map. Different homes. Oh, excuse me. And what is this? I think it's a bordello, man. The comptroller's house. <laughs> the Baldwin Estate. The Gracious Hand. There's another tavern outside of town. Yeah, okay. Let's head. Oh, wait. There's something else here. Diviner's Salon. The Charnel House. We could... Let's go see what this club is down here. Waypoint. Restricted. Okay. Yeah, let's not go that way. Bye. We're leaving. Nice to meet you all. Ah, good. You return. I find myself on edge when you stray from my line of sight. Uh huh. I sound. Yeah, never mind. Comptroller's here. Oh, I see. When you're in town, you don't use stamina for sprinting. Nice. <laughs> the Bordellery is an establishment that caters to the vices of the nobility and the wealthy elite. A card of membership is required to gain entry to the Bordellery, and its services are only available to those who can afford them. <laughs> I Oh, courtesans. To please various tastes can be found on every floor, but the services of those on the third floor are not available to new visitors to the establishment. 
only prized patrons who make frequent use of the Bordellery's services are entitled to purchase the Platinum Card that will allow them to enjoy the company of these exclusive courtesans. <laughs> My kind of place, all right. But as you are not a member of this establishment, I cannot permit you through. Oh. Well, you can sell me a membership or I can slaughter my way through here. How are we playing it? <laughs> I'm kidding. Let's go. Suppose things can't always go my way. That's cool though. There's a there's a bordello in there. That's that's kinda cool. Wicked cool. Oh, put your weapon up, boy. Put that up unless you're gonna use it. Alright, so there's other places I wanted to go check out in town. There's the Diviner's Salon. And that is just north of here. This place is awful dull. Don't complain, how best to proceed. Ladder, is it? How convenient. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. Well, go to it. And is this a new ladder or one you guys have already shown me earlier? I see one over here. There's a new la a ladder right there. Well, let's have a look, shall we? I love that little flip he does. Let's see. There's a worthy prize, if only it weren't so far away. What, like this one right here? <laughs> Made in Norway, 80s edition. <laughs> that was cool. Alright, get off the ladder, dude. Get off the ladder. Boy, you better get off that ladder. There we go. Alright. I wanted to check out... Now I'm, like, completely lost. Now, here we go. Alright, oh, right here. Oh, hi. Greetings. You see guidance, fun. do you not? You need only make a worthy offering in exchange. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I have seen your path. May these words guide you true. No stick man heading out. All right, brother. Hey, thank you for being here. Yeah, I know we've gone a bit late tonight. I, I just wanted to play some more Dragon's Dogma. Thanks for sticking around. Venture to Vernworth Castle offices, the next milestone on thy path. I should go by the castle offices my then. Gratitude. All right. Thanks, love. It is lovely to see you. That's my own. Uh, all right. Mm, the what'd you say? The offices. Hmm. I don't know where that is. Hmm. No, it's not on there. All right. Actually, I want to select Monster Culling as the next quest. Set as priority. <laughs> 
Thank you, Ryan. That just makes it easier easier for us to track it, man. It's actually a... Uh, this is a good thing. It's actually turning out to be quite a large event, and uh, that's just the easiest way for us to keep up with everybody. And also to make sure that everybody's in the loop. RLB, you've done the Days Gone third horde on your first playthrough. Go and buy the handbook. Right on. Now you'll have your SMP9 unlocked in no time then. Nice. Can we perhaps... Is there dialogue? Hmm. No, I guess not. Be nice if I could go back through the dialogue and catch the ex well shit I can go back through the dialogue I know exactly what to do check this out I can clip stuff and replay it Actually, no, let's just play this clip. Let's guide you true. There it is. That's what I wanted. Vernworth Castle Offices. Let me write that down. <laughs> Should do. Jer, Jer Bear, have you done your, uh, did you PayPal the 15 bucks to daysgonepod at gmail.com? Because that's like step one, so you get in the loop on everything. Like, then we can just, you know, that way we can send everything out to everybody as we go. Vern Worth Castle Offices. Yoink. Got it. Go check that out. Trying to kill for some decent sleep. Yeah, speaking of, let's go ahead and... I don't know that I really want to change my vocation. I was thinking about it. I changed to like a fighter type character. But I generally do play ranged characters on stuff like this. As long as I have decent support. Right, let's go camp till morning. And we'll set back out to the goblin cave. Weary at this hour, sir. You must have quite a tale to tell. <laughs> ah, how I've longed to embrace my bedroll. <laughs> yeah. Your pawn has returned from beyond the rift. Oh, yeah? Okay. All right, whatever. You'll not believe. Excuse me, that one caught me by surprise. I'll wager my horizons are broader than ever. Mm. Our adventure continues. That sounded like a big there. thump for 10 o'clock at night. Feeling Hang rested, on, folks. I Let trust. me go see what that was.
Welcome. And well met. It's all good. It was just a cat. <laughs> cat moving around. this oh camping pit camping kit that's cool peruse at your well met you are come you will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the foremost hospitality Get everybody's carry weight down as low as we can. Okay, and he's got a travel kit for us. Let me put a few of those away. So really, we don't need any of these. Well, I don't want to end up short on stuff. Yeah, that's okay. We can keep that stuff. In all Vernworth, you know where to find me. All right. All right, it's morning, and we know where the Goblin Cave is at. Port crystals. Hey, I just accidentally stumbled upon a port crystal. Use of a fairy stone will instantly transport you. To the location of a port crystal. Port crystals are permanent fixtures of cities and towns, but you may also place your own port crystals at destinations of your choice. You may have up to 10 port crystals placed at various locations throughout the world at any one time. Once placed, a port crystal can be recovered if you wish to move it somewhere else. That's handy. Permanent port crystals in cities and towns must be interacted with at least once before they become available as fairy stone destinations. Okay. So, let's see. Is this, this is the stone? Oh, wow. I've been walking around this thing now. Yeah. All right. So, that means I, had I known about this sooner, I could have placed a, uh, I could like travel to the cave more easily, to or from the cave more easily. An ox cart ought to make our journey easier. They can be most convenient. Oh, we just got a save, too, as I was about to make a manual save. All right. That's perfect. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I wish I had a port crystal. It's better than taking a bus, I reckon. Um, all right. Well, hey, I am uh, ready to shut it down. I'm, I'm actually getting really tired now. I've gone a bit over late, I suppose, but um, I'm having a blast playing this. I intend to put in a lot of hours on this one and get really, really good at it. Uh, I hope to get some videos, get some more videos out on this one. If y'all haven't seen the newest video, it uh, just came out today. Uh, it's just a, a quick first look at uh, this game when I was going through character creation in the first little tutorial and stuff. Uh, so I kind of wanted to share that with y'all since it I didn't get to do all that in a live stream. I, I at least wanted to give you a, a quick clip of it. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, man, that's all I got. I'm going to go ahead and shut it down for the evening. Uh, y'all got the info for Days Gone Calm now, right? 
uh that that's that's how you stay in the loop right there that makes it easier for us to keep up with everybody and make sure everyone is in the loop uh all right bye everybody good night um buttons yeah there's one <laughs>